what is going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new and you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash how are you guys doing welcome back if you are a long-term supporter i really do want to know how you guys are doing let's have a conversation down in the comments if you're new here do not be shy i just want to take some time to thank you guys so much in my last video the responses that i got i'm telling you right now if you're new we get deep in the comments right it's not just surface level like hey like whatever we do have that too of course like hey girl hey but there are so many in-depth comments just people telling me how they are what they've been up to giving us scent combos and i really love that because one it helps me feel more connected to you and of course two it creates a sense of community here on the channel which i truly appreciate so feel free to comment down below i'd love to hear from you this video as you've probably seen from the title already it's gonna be another episode of let's get it together okay i decided to start a series on my channel called the get it together series because quite frankly i've been trying to get myself together and i just want to share with you some of the things that i've been doing and implementing into my routine and you can kind of like pick and choose which ones are going to best suit you right and i always want to contribute to conversations and i want to be helpful to you guys in any way that i can i live for that <laughs> i literally live for it i'm like how can i help another person how can i relate to another person and that's what i want from my channel and from our community here so that's what this video is about and i really want you guys not to just pick the exact things that i'm showing but kind of take into consideration that i can recommend something to you and it's always best to find what works for you because i'm gonna tell you this when i get to my foundation i've listened to so many different creators and things like that and i mean i've dibbled and dabbled into different things but one of the things that I found that worked best for me was something that I just found on my own. But I got inspo from other people, you know? But some of the things I'm telling you guys are probably gonna wanna run out and buy anyway because some of them are really, really good. But anyways, let's get started. Let's get it together, sis. You're not alone, we're in this together. And let's start talking about some of the things that are most important. And one thing, you already know what it is, is scent of the day. I wanna know what you guys are wearing. How are you smelling? First off, check out my water bottle. This is from The Ordinary. This is called The Daily Hydration Formula. It is so cute. Hopefully my camera can pick it up. They sent this to me in PR and I just love it. Mm. To me though, this is gonna be one of those water bottles that stays home because I can be a little clumsy and I unfortunately would, you know, take this out and break it because it's it's glass. Like this is one one drop and it's done. And <laughs> I'm not gonna do it because I really like it. So I'm gonna just keep it at home. Um we're just gonna keep it cute at home because I don't think this is durable enough for the outdoors especially for me and this of course goes into our whole series how to feel better and look better overall whether it's mentally physically all that right water it's the most essential basic human need <laughs> and so many of us lack that and i do too that's why i decided to put my water in certain types of bottles because it motivates me to drink it i think when it's in and I'm looking for it, but it's gone. So when it's in the plastic water bottle, I feel that, and let me know in the comments if this is something you do as well. I'll take a sip, leave it around. Take a sip, and then there's like 10, 15 water bottles that are just half opened and used, and then you're like, oh, I don't wanna drink. So I just would prefer to use something like this, better for the environment, you know, whatever. Yeah, drink your water. I feel like this would help us all. <laughs> So as much as we do sense of the day, I wanna incorporate this into one of the first tips of the video as far as how to feel better. I love picking a fragrance. The reason I started scent of the day on my channel was simply because I always woke up excited to put on a new fragrance. One of the things that I look forward to the most is taking a shower, doing my self care and then getting to pick from my fragrance collection and smell really nice for the day. And what it does for me is it brightens up my day. It gives me something to look forward to, especially when I go out and I know people are gonna compliment me. There is something addictive about fragrances. Like I can spray a million of them and like 
I will feel a different feeling every single time. My scent of the day is Vanilla Woods. I love vanilla scents, but I love to pair them with other fragrances, so I kind of outdid myself today. I went a little crazy. I wanted something different. I felt like I've been wearing the same fragrances quite often, and I wanted to switch it up and kind of smell something I haven't smelled in a while, so I kind of went big. To me, this is doing it big. I like Tom Ford fragrances, but Tom Ford isn't for everybody. I picked out the Tom Ford White Patchouli. I think this one is such a powerful fragrance it really packs a punch it's so strong that patchouli note is very heavy in this fragrance and it lasts on me all day i remember wearing this to i believe another event that i went to maybe a couple years ago and someone was like what are you wearing i have to know and it was this tom ford patchouli scent and it's the white patchouli and this is a 1.7 fluid ounce i don't believe they sell this anymore i could be wrong i don't know i don't know where I got this. I think I may have got it at the cosmetics company store years ago, but it smells so good with this vanilla woods. I think when you're wearing something this strong, pairing it with a nice vanilla, and vanilla woods is a different type of vanilla. It's oh, it says that it this one's actually good for calming and soothes the overworked. I forgot that seven virtues is like that and i feel that way about this too and it has that madagascar vanilla these two together i feel that they are a freaking powerhouse i love it and i love when my vanilla perfumes start to get a little older so their juice is just a bit darker if you could smell me through the screen i promise you you'd be like girl what is that that's my scent combo today i just went crazy vanilla woods is so good they have a new fragrance out it's called amber vanilla but it's only available online that's the thing i do not like with certain fragrances where they're only available online because i do like to smell my fragrance before i purchase that tom ford vanilla sex thank god it was in store because i would have purchased it off rip and got it and been so disappointed because i just didn't like it so yeah i do want to get that one i probably will bite the bullet and just get it <sighs> but i just you know what maybe i just don't like blind buys i think that's just not me but Anyway, let me know what you guys are wearing in the comments down below. Wearing a good fragrance really helps me feel good. It's like the start to my day. I don't need anyone to compliment me because me smelling myself, I'm already like, oh my gosh, you smell good. I'm just complimenting my own self. And then to me, that's all that matters. And you don't need a huge perfume collection. You need to find a fragrance or a couple fragrances that you know you can mix and match. And then of course you can layer together and find something that works well with your body chemistry. And that might take you a little while. You kind of want to experiment. And I think that's best for you to just get little sample sizes. And I'll tell you right now, I am the queen of samples, okay? I have, this is only one bag. I have bags full of like sample fragrances because you don't need a full size every time. I promise you, you don't because even with these, I have enough to last me my whole life. Let's get into body care and I want to use this as an opportunity to show you a new body scrub from Dove. You know I have to put you guys on to the newest items in the stores. I would never leave you guys out the loop. Like there is nothing that I would know about that I wouldn't want to get on here and tell you. I cannot hold water at all and I don't get keep. So there is a new scrub from Dove. It's called Himalayan Salt and Rose Oil. I don't know if you know this, but I don't love rose fragrances, but I'm starting to like them a lot more now. Things just change and I feel that I'm in the mood for rose a lot more than I was before. This I saw and I was like, oh my gosh, so intrigued. I opened it and immediately contemplated buying like the whole shelf, right? And I only ended up with two, which I was even like, do I need two? But this is so gorgeous. This might be the best smelling dove body scrub my opinion i really like the way this smells and i always recommend you smell it before you buy but it's funny it says it's himalayan salt and rose oil but to me it smells like a gardenia i don't know if you smell this let me know what you think it is gorgeous i love body scrubs you don't have to use it every day i use mine maybe three times a week if that i don't really take long showers like i used to i kind of I work so late, you guys. I do so much throughout the day that sometimes I just want to get in, use my body wash, my body bar soap, whatever, and get out the shower, okay? But this is so gorgeous. And finding a good body scrub that's really going to exfoliate the skin, it doesn't always have to be like a really harsh scrub. I feel tree hut scrubs sometimes can be a little bit more rough, and sometimes I feel my skin might need that. But some days I just want something that feels soft and gentle yet exfoliating at the same time, right? And then for it to smell good like this, oh my word. 
this is awesome I love this and I feel good smelling it I know I feel good when I use it and they're like seven bucks I feel like they used to be a lot cheaper but I could be wrong but inflation is crazy but body scrubs are so nice and that's why I want to encourage you to find a scrub that really is gonna feel good for your skin and also keep in mind that you might want like one or two different types of scrubs because one day like I said you might want something a little bit more rough that skin is feeling dry okay you need something to really rejuvenate the surface or you want something really gentle and nice you can just using like almost your everyday shower and it won't be too harsh on the skin you know you have to see what it looks like close up pause the video screenshot take a good look i will link this down below for you as well if you want to order it because it is so pretty shout out to dove for this so i put these rollers in my hair what are they flexi rods and i had curled my hair yesterday and i was like okay I'll just put the flexi rods in so that I don't have to do like a curling again with the flat iron. But my hair is like curled up y'all. So I kind of want more of like a straight wave curl. So I might just do like the big flexi rod things I saw where it's like a it's like one big one and you wrap your hair because it's cute. But I want it to like kind of stretch out a little more. Does that make sense? I was thinking maybe they'll drop but I'm in the house so it's not really humid in here. Anyway, the curls are, are, are curling. <laughs> you do not need a full-blown skincare routine with a million steps to feel good. I wear makeup on my face, right? And I wear makeup a lot. Like, I do a lot of on-camera work. I do a lot of, um, I, I go out a lot. I like to dress up. So, for me, I try to take care of my skin the best that I can. And I do not have a full a million step skincare routine now I will say I try a lot of different products and I experiment with some things but my face is very very sensitive but one thing I've incorporated into my routine that I feel has been life-changing is my sunscreen and this Fenty skin hydrovisor is amazing I love it it does have a little bit of a scent to it but it's not super strong this leaves my skin very soft and very glowy and it goes well with my makeup too because it's usually underneath my makeup I like this I struggle with dark spots and hyperpigmentation and one thing my dermatologist told me was that I needed to use sunscreen every single day because without using that sunscreen when I'm out in that you know out in the sun my dark spots are actually gonna get darker and I was like oh no I do not want that the last thing I want is for these dark spots to get darker it's been a pain for me because my skin can be so clear and then I'll have these two little marks from previous acne scars and stuff you know and it's just annoying so I would say find a good sunscreen one that really fits with your skin type I have oily skin and the one thing I'm gonna share with you if you are an oily skin girl might change your routine it's my foundation but sunscreen and one thing you can wear this without makeup you can wear it with makeup and it's gonna give your skin a really nice glow I feel that when you're doing a no makeup makeup day sunscreen is so important especially a good one this one from Fenty is really good and I feel like I didn't get into Fenty skin products until very late in the game I can kind of be a little bit untrustworthy when it comes to skincare from certain brands because and I won't even say certain brands just with anyone in general like if it's not those basic like CeraVe, Cetaphil, you know the ones that we've always grown up seeing and things like that I kind of like I'm a little wary but I have to give this a 10 out of 10 I really like it okay when it comes to feeling good wearing makeup is not a requirement but when you're going to wear makeup and you're gonna do a full face whatever it is I want you to use the right products for your skin it's easy to go pick up a foundation but it's not easy finding your shade I went through a struggle y'all when I first started doing makeup I had no idea what my foundation shade was I was just using anything I didn't know what undertones were so I'm wearing something that's like olive when I have a golden yellow undertone like it takes time trial and error and I want you to extend yourself the grace it's taken me years I've, I just started doing my makeup in like 2022 I'm still figuring out what works best for me like I have the most oily skin and I found a foundation recently recently I mean I've been using a certain foundation but I had to use like a certain setting spray and all these other things to just kind of make it look the way I want it but this foundation it's from Patrick Ta this is the duo foundation it's a cream powder foundation it is one a great match I wore this I'll probably put a picture if I have it I did like a natural face when I went to see my fiance because I don't wear makeup when I first see him initially and let me tell you why he is very um hands-on <laughs> I'll say and he'll want to hug me and he's 
lighter skinned so my foundation can transfer and it'll go on his face and when I see him I of course I want to hug him I don't want to feel like oh my god like you know I gotta hug him from the side so that day I was like oh I'm just gonna wear like a little bit of like concealer I just spot concealed the few spots that I had on my face and um I felt really good because right now I'm like baby do not touch my face I would be like hugging people because you know the makeup is makeuping it's beautiful I love it so you don't want to mess it up but that was like a face that I just felt really free very nice and put together still um, and I was able to use that with this I this is my full face and then I also used it as spot correct you'll see the picture on the screen but this is in the shade I believe this is in tan one and again with your skin type you need to find out whether or not you're a cream foundation girl are you a liquid foundation are you a powder foundation girl everything is unique to you and I've I've figured that out I had to learn I don't want to say the hard way but I've learned by spending some money that like what one person says this is the best this is the best it may not be the best for you and then we get mad at the person who recommended it but that's not what you do right you have to take into consideration the fact that it may be the best for them like this right here is top notch to me you know and I would recommend it to someone because of my experience but I'm always gonna say give it a shot for yourself and Sephora's return policy is pretty good anyway so this is how it looks I use this almost every day and my skin is not looking like an oiled grease ball and then you kind of I use this the cream first and then I go in with the powder after it is phenomenal and it's compact I can put it right in my purse bring it around with me it's so nice the cream foundation and finishing powder duo tan one tan two was too dark for my skin I love it and I do not mix this with any other foundation right now this is the only thing that I'm using I'm loving makeup right now it is so fun to use different products and that is something that I noticed about myself that you know when you're confident in your foundation and what you're putting on your face and your beauty products you're gonna feel way better you're gonna feel more productive you're gonna want to be seen especially when you do the type of work that I do you know I have to feel good to kind of get on the camera right because I can't just get on here and then I'm like I'm insecure about this or that I need to find what works best for me so I do encourage that for you guys two other products that have changed my makeup game and these are products that you can also apply if you're not even a makeup girl if you just like to wear your natural face and you just want to add a little touch up you know I think that's something that people forget is that like makeup products don't have to be like full face dry queen makeup none of that it's just a little bit of like an enhancer that makes you feel good you know so I use my blush and I feel like I didn't like I look at the blush this isn't this blush today I use something else I think I used dang I don't remember what blush I use now because I've been dabbling in a lot of my makeup I've gotten a lot of like makeup from Fenty but blush you can put on blush to go to the gym like it's it takes two seconds you can put on a little blush this one is another powder cream duo it comes with that that cream really locks it in um <laughs> and it's from patrick ta again compact really nice you can apply blush on your natural face it really makes you look super energized alive and awake and I did not feel that blush was necessary back then. I thought it was like, why do I need like some pink stuff on my face? But just from going through and trying different types of makeup and things like that, blush, I cannot go a day without it. If I'm doing my makeup, I cannot skip the blush. I feel like I would totally be incomplete. And another one. I love bronzer. I have so many different bronzers. My favorite one is Juvia's Place, but I wanted to talk about something different that I used today. This is from Fenty Beauty and Fenty Fenty's just killing it honestly so this is the bronzer it's pretty dark this is actually darker than I normally use but it doesn't come out like that it's not super dark and pigmented especially if you don't like dip the brush in it and just do too much right so I take my brush and I lightly swirl it on there and then I kind of buffer it onto my face and it gives my face such a nice it brings a color back to my face and it gives me a nice look so you can wear bronzer whether you're gonna wear makeup or if you're gonna do your face and if you just want a nice bronze look bronzer is so cool and you can get bronzer from any brand they have so many different types of bronzers I think that's what I want to do maybe one of these days I kind of do like a drugstore makeup routine because some of the drugstore makeup products are just honestly tried and true they just work 
it's like you know i think that we want to spend so much money on like designer things or expensive products but really some of the og products that you know you can get at cvs walgreens walmart whatever it is they just seem to be some of the best but a bronzer if you want to add that to your routine it really makes me you know feel a little bit more put together okay lastly i just want to run through these super fast but mascara I did not wear lashes. I went through a little bit of a lash phase a couple years ago, didn't work out. I only wear mascara every day. I only mascara, like I don't even know if you guys can tell. And I don't really do anything extra to my lashes, but mascara for me has been everything. This one is from Jones Road, but my all time favorite mascara is from Fenty Beauty. It makes my lashes look so long and I just love it and I think Maybe one day I'd get into lashes, but it wasn't for me. I think, again, everything is preference and finding what works for you and what doesn't and what makes you feel the best. And for me, is mascara. So find a good mascara. I have so many because I just wanted to try and find one that was good. And sometimes I go a little crazy and use all of them at once. And I'm like, oh, just to get my eyelashes to give me that look that I'm looking for. Um, but a good mascara is nice for a makeup, no makeup look, whatever it is that you choose to do and get you a good lip combo. Ooh, if I can stress anything to you, it's a good lip. And this Anastasia Beverly Hills is one of my babies. I look for her every day like i'm looking around like pretending that i'm looking for her she is one of my favorites and i hate that i didn't know about this sooner when i don't have this i'm like dang i have to settle for another lip gloss i love it i love matte lips too but i also want to have something like this and it's long lasting it doesn't have any crazy scent yeah it's it's it kind of smells like manufactured product honestly I mean, maybe it's just the way I'm smelling it, but I like it. This is in the shade Tan Rose. I love it. I also use a lip liner. I'm realizing that dark brown liners are not for me. I don't like it when it's too dark. This is perfect. This is the NYX liner in the shade Brown. This makes me look better. I need to try things out, see how they work for me. I'm telling you this because it's so important because I, I will get the liner that somebody told me to get and then I, you know, I'm, I'm wearing it and I'm like, something is off. Something is off. And I'm like, girl, you don't like this. This is not for you. And so this was something I bought on my own. I think I was just walking around the store. I picked this up years ago. Still have it to this day. And I picked this out. This is the combo I have on today. So this is NYX Brown and then Anastasia Beverly Hills Tan Rose. And my makeup is complete and I look good and I feel good and I'm confident in what I got going on. Let's talk accessories. I love to accessorize. It's one of my most favorite things besides putting on a fragrance and a cute outfit. There was a point, I think maybe in high school or so, I never wore earrings. I just didn't care enough. And now you can't catch me without them. <laughs> I love wearing a pair of earrings. They're like these little like teardrop earrings that like kind of went viral and they were viral in gold and then I saw them in silver and these are kind of like in uh like a metallic-y black, I think. I don't even know. I love earrings. And I know some of you may not like accessorizing, but I think if you're looking for a nice way to add to an outfit that might not even be dressy, earrings, a bracelet. This is from Coach. This bracelet right here. I got this one from Coach Outlet. It was probably less than $20. And then I also have seen them in Marshalls and TJ Maxx too. Like it looks like it's an expensive bangle or whatever and it's like nothing, okay? This is a Michael Kors watch. But it, it looks elevated, right? And this ring is probably from Amazon. It was a little random ring and then this is my engagement ring, which let's not go there. <laughs> earrings, I love it. I love earrings. I love statement earrings. I got these from Zara, these hoops. These are really cute. They were like $20 in Zara. Zara's earrings are really, really nice. I like their jewelry a lot. I love gold. Gold is more what I go for on a daily basis, but I do try to switch it up and do silver here and there. I got these hoops. These, I believe, were from TJ Maxx. They're from like House of Harlow. 
again very nice super cute compared with any look whether dressed up or casual this watch if you've been watching for a while you've probably seen this watch a lot this is from jbw and a lot of the like influencers were wearing this at a point and i was like oh my gosh i might as well get me a jbw because everybody's talking about it and it's been good jbw's quality is really great so if you haven't purchased from them i would give their website a chance take a look their stuff is really great quality and this watch has been around for a very long time and i love it does it work no because i do not i don't know my watches i just wear simply because i want it to be cute but i'd like to put a battery in it or something to make it work because my fiance was looking at the watch he's a baby what time is it and then he looked at the watch and he was like never mind because <laughs> it doesn't work i don't know how i only managed to pick up one but you guys I, if you haven't seen my recent videos i just purchased this i wanted to wear this on like date night you know but again these are from tj maxx but again a statement earring very cute i feel that they really elevate a look and make me feel a lot better especially when i'm like if i'm not feeling my outfit sometimes i'll get dressed i'll do my hair do my makeup put on my jewelry and then i can kind of see how the clothes look you know it kind of help let's talk about my glasses and i feel like i need to clean them oh all right i kind of cleaned them i need to go get my glasses cleaner but these i will link them below they're from amazon and i love them when i'm not dressed up when i'm dressed up i pick these out i've worn these to my orthodontist and they're like hey girl these are so cute they are you kidding me who are you talking to because it ain't me <laughs> look how cute these are and i got them in a four pack and they came with like black they came with blue like a clear color i will link these these elevate the look especially if you're going to work you're going to a meeting you want to dress up and you just feel like being a fashion girl this is cute i love these glasses and i think i might do more glasses but the only thing i find with my glasses they kind of mess up my makeup a little bit so i kind of try to wear them when i'm not doing a full face but they're cute you guys look at that amazon amazon and they're probably like 20 dollars for four obsessed and i've had these for a while my mom even wears them now too i gave her a pair but i love glasses i don't know what it is they make me feel cute like i can go take a selfie look at this selfie oh it girl i ain't really activated it girl <laughs> oh what's that other one you know i'm sexy uh don't call just text me <laughs> and this phone case by the way i got it from amazon literally today i really really like it if you like it too again i'll link it for you as well okay let's talk supplements and i'm just showing you some of the ones that i have been using that i've seen some results with one thing that i am trying to be more consistent with is taking a probiotic this one is a probiotic multi-enzyme and this kind of helps aid in digestion overall digestive health and i need that i just have a lot of i <laughs> suffer from heartburn acid reflux all that it's annoying i mean just taking probiotics is just good for women in general this is a three tablet serving size and i try to take this every single day and when i was on my weight loss journey which i still need to be on at this point <sighs> these were really helpful I'm gonna tell you that right now <laughs> but I have been so inconsistent with keeping up with my food and my diet and like I was so good yo I hit my goal weight and everything and then life happens right so again we're getting it together and this is something I've been taking I picked this up in one of my most recent videos uh, this is the ashwagandha 1300 milligram extra strength stress support I was diagnosed with mild depression and anxiety about two years ago and I was on medication for it However, I didn't feel the medication was beneficial for me. I didn't like that I had to be medicated, but you have to keep in mind that medication suits everybody differently and it just didn't work for me. But if you feel that you need to be on medication, of course, like I said, you do what works for you. So I wanted to find something a little bit more natural and this is ashwagandha. I always feel like when I take the ashwagandha, I almost forget that I took it. But when I look back at the way that I've acted or reacted in certain situations throughout the day, I'm like, you know what, this girl right here, and I don't feel like it's placebo because it's a different type of vibe. You just feel real mellow <laughs> with this. So this is the one I take, again, this is the extra strength, 1300 milligrams, and it has KSM 66 ashwagandha. And this, so these were viral all over TikTok. These are the Let Me Chill De-Stress Gummies. These also contain ashwagandha, so I do not take 
both of these at the same time like today i decided i wanted a gummy these are pills so i maybe sometimes i'm in a pill mood and then i like the way these taste these have passion flower and lemon balm which is also proven to help with stress and this has clinically studied ashwagandha these are really expensive i will say they're 30 dollars but i do like them but i don't know if i'm going to repurchase yet i think i'm gonna go through the bottle and take it more consistently this is what the gummy looks like you can see it here they're really nice they taste good there is a little bit of an aftertaste in this i'm not sure what the aftertaste is from it might be just ashwagandha i've had it in a powder form it was so nasty i was like ew um it might be one of those things but so far i take this one and i, I took it just before i started filming this and i feel good <laughs> i i just feel good i don't know if today's a good day uh, but again, these are more natural. I take two of them and I just go about my day. I remember I had a really stressful day once something just happened that was annoying. I promise you, like normally to have a breakdown and probably cry about it. And I didn't. I just got right back up and I said, wow, that's God and some of these gummies. <laughs> journaling. When I talk about mental health, journaling is so important and it's something that I have started to do. I like to read a lot and of course in the next video I may mention a lot more of the books that I read because I'm into a lot of personal growth books. This journal here I bought on Amazon it says the map to where she's going is written on her heart. This is more of a personal growth notebook but I also use it for my ideas as far as like my goals in life. I have a, a, a notebook that I'm also working on that's like a get to know me journal but this journal keeps me motivated. I write down my goals. I write down ideas, things that I'm passionate about. I start to study things and that has really helped me. I want something that gives me something to read and feel positive while doing so. There's a quote here which I haven't seen yet. It says, I read and walked for miles at night along the beach searching endlessly for someone wonderful who would step out of the darkness and change my life. It never crossed my mind that that person could be me. Whew, that's deep. Oh my gosh, that's deep because the power that we have within us is incredible. We have so much right here in front of us in our space that we don't even know. And sometimes we don't even feel we have access to and we might not even have access to it because we haven't unlocked that mental space yet to be able to accept or understand. So I've been doing a lot of self work and this notebook is really nice. I think one, one thing about me, I love the outside of notebooks. They always say don't judge a book by its cover, but I did judge this by the cover and I wanted the cover to say something that reminded me and gave me a reason to keep writing in this book. But writing down your thoughts, your goals, your prayers, whatever it is that's gonna get you to that next step to keep you going, to make you feel motivated when you wake up in the morning is a huge part of feeling good and just, you know even implementing like say you're watching this video right now and then you get out your notebook and you're like oh ash said this right how to feel good and look good you know these are her recommendations and keeping note of that so that you know when you write things down you don't even realize that subconsciously you're writing it but it's like going in here too and then you start doing things and living by those things and it's it's transformative so writing and journaling i would totally start to do that and see what that does for you um whether you're journaling physical you know in the physical form or you're doing it digitally try to put your thoughts on paper because i feel that we stuff so many things in our brains right and this is you know depending on your head size you know your brain might not be too big it's like a you're cramming it all in there you know what i'm saying like i feel like we're stuffing it all in there when we have so much room to express the thoughts and the fears and the motivation the passion and uh yeah it doesn't all have to stay here i think we get overwhelmed and i get overwhelmed i get like oh like it starts to get me yo so i start writing it down but yeah that's that's what i've been doing i've been trying to grow out my hair okay and i found that this worked i heard so many reviews on this and i'm giving it a try Right, I said that we're in this together, so I'm not gonna tell you, no, this is gonna grow your hair a million inches, but I'm gonna tell you the reviews. I've done my research, so many people, even my hairstylist, I noticed, because I had purchases the day before, I had no idea that she was gonna have it, and then I go to the salon, and she was putting this in my hair, and I was like, I just bought that. And everybody was talking about it. It's called Wild Growth Hair Oil. 
Um, you can get it at hairgrownfast.com. I got it at my local beauty supply for like eight bucks. This has said to have helped people grow their hair past their shoulders and it helps. Oh, you can use this on your eyelashes, eyebrows, beard. It's multi-use and I love it. So you would just shake it, apply it to your scalp underneath here because I have a sew-in. I just put it on my scalp, okay? Using a hair growth oil, taking care of your crown because I'm telling you my hair, I feel good. When my hair's not done, I don't feel good at all. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell you right now, I do not feel good at all. I need to make sure that my hair is done, that I'm maintaining it and also making sure that it's healthy. Whatever style it's in, maintaining my hair growth is essential. I just have to say, I really love you guys and thank you for watching and just being here with me on this journey. There's something so special about women coming together, men who watch the channel, who support. I love you. Thank you. Like, <laughs> I don't, sometimes I like, I don't know what it is. Like, I don't feel like anyone's gonna watch, <laughs> which is crazy because there's so many of you who want to keep coming back and supporting. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. It really is everything to me. And just, I, I, I had a supporter. I had a supporter right on my TikTok that she like anticipates my uploads and I was like, what me like i know some creators they get you know used to that but i don't i'm like wow me thanks like <laughs> i love it so thank you for watching thank you for coming and following me on this journey of just getting better every year every day like if you go back and see some of my videos like i started when i was in college and now i'm like starting my family soon like that's crazy i'm like girl what anyway i hope these were good tips that you can incorporate them into your routine we're focusing on feeling better looking better i love you and take care of yourself make sure you follow me on instagram at ash220 underscore and tiktok at livingash20 comment down below anything you want to see from me in the future i am so open to your suggestions i appreciate it so much and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys